what's broadly going on. A lot of people have definitely evidently left, and I cannot wait to look at... Actually, we could look at week one parses. Mm, we could look at week one parse counts. Could do. Fairly soon. Um, I have a suspicion WoW is smaller. Like, quite significantly smaller. Um, and the Dragonflight did not bring a lot of people back. Well, that, is, good. that is self-evident, because it's... Well, it's hard to describe, but it's not the good game that's going to bring people back. It's the happy, happy feel. It's about the narrative. Yeah, it's... It is, in a way, that's really frustrating, and it must be frustrating as hell for the team. So obviously the one bit of evidence that we can go by is the fact that they're like, here, go gift it and get free months. Two? Yeah, and it's like... Free if, trial? Yeah, free, free trial. Or uh, a direct theory. Yeah, so it's, I mean, obviously I was saying they definitely should have done that, like, before the game launched. They should have been free trial, play drag there before launch, get in. But I think the, the those are those are self-evident. Those are them going, like, you don't give away your product for free unless you need users on board it. You don't do that if you've got, a, I mean, they didn't, I was going to say they didn't give Overwatch 2 away for free. Hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. It's, it's the same idea of, like, you could argue it's maybe just more user onboarding, maybe the um, maybe the way it was like priced and stuff uh, threw a lot of people out of the market, didn't expect yeah. it, and et cetera, et cetera, with like the price bump for it. Uh, maybe, but I think generally the... My view is it clearly didn't sell because they didn't celebrate its sales, which means it sold at least worse than Shadowlands. And Shadowlands sold quite well, but yeah. it's certainly... Uh, there's also been a little bit... It's been fairly subdued affair, I think. It's outside of the World of Warcraft circle. It's not like Dragonflight's made a dent anywhere. It's oh, it hasn't. Like, it hasn't it's whatsoever. Not, it's not like people people even talk about it very much in regards to Blizzard. The reviews are also like not really. They're, they're turbo mid, and no one reads them unless they really care about World of Warcraft. In which case, they probably went, "Oh, well, I like Dragonflight because it's World of Warcraft good." It's pretty. Um, it'll be a while. Be well from the build back up, I think. Let's see, what is it true. on mm. Open Critic? I have like Open Critic 84, 100% recommend. Yeah. You know, it's weird, it just has kind of been like, what? <laughs> Nobody seemingly has noticed. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, certainly in terms of content views, yeah. they are like so down. They are, I mean, if we were in Shadowlands and I and like we were to make nerdy Shadowlands lore videos that only appeal to Shadowlands players, yeah. that's roughly where we are right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm talking 50% down. And looking at other people, I mean, their views don't seem particularly mm. great. They're hard to know. To honest, but and I think we'll take a larger hit there than, mm. than some of the more like kind of... Some of the more core people who weren't shining a spotlight on the game's weaknesses as much as we were mm. uh, during Shadowlands. Um, I think what I've ultimately noticed is Shadowlands still had a large buzz and, like, crowd around it because it was kind of fun to, like, look at the terrible thing and look at it flounder and, you know, the usual thing that happens on the internet. It's the whole uh, saying of, like, was it infamy? Yeah. No, there's and no, no such thing as bad PR. Like, like That idea of infamy is still fame. Yeah. It's just a different kind of fame. It's a different kind of relevance. Whereas then, the, the worst sin you can commit in like the online sphere today is being boring. And not that Dragonflight's a boring game, but the story of it from the outside, for, f coming from, oh my god, Activision Blizzard have finally had their comeuppance for all of the years of evil. And look at what it's done. Their developers have not been able to make a good game and they've been ruined by this, etc., etc. And then two years later, like... Hey, we fixed most of our problems internally, and then we also made a pretty good game. And everyone's like, well, that's... If, 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 metaphorically, they just flick to the next channel and go, right, what game is falling apart that I can watch? That's more or less the problem. Like, yeah, I think a lot of that's just been co-opted in the general Twitch shit show. Oh, I wish I could, like, press a button and just make Twitch not exist. Oh, I would do that in a heartbeat. <laughs> or at least, like, make the weird culture that surrounds Twitch not exist. <laughs> I think, like, small streamers and their audiences, that's all good. But, like, perfect, yeah. as soon as you get onto the people who would say even, like, look at live stream fail, you just realize, like, oh, oh my god, this is this is dire. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, like, even around patch, 
uh, ten or nine point two. When there was good stuff to talk about, people just be like, "No, I flat out refuse to believe that this is good." Yeah. Um, and now what we found out is those people have, have obviously not stuck around. Yeah. So wow, it just had the, yeah, it had this massive buzz around it because it was like a bit shit. And now I, I suppose it's like up. Oh, Expansions came out. The the measurement has been made. The the double slit experiment. We can now look at the little you know thing to see where the things landed. All right. Oh dear, it's not landed particularly high. Oh mm. dear, where are the players? Um, now the thing is, when you actually go in game, there's plenty of players. At least not our, our server, but our server is full. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, but, yeah. The, I think there's a ah. It's weird. I think there's definitely, like, it could be argued that, you know, World of Warcraft is just big enough anyway. It'll have a healthy player base no matter what. It's just a healthy player base isn't 10 million. A healthy player base is, like, a couple hundred K or even, like, you know, a healthy oh, enough. Oh, that's, that would be enough, low. Yeah, but it's still, like, that's a healthy player base across a couple servers. That's still fine. But I should have said but, millions. Yeah, but that's, like, so it's multiple, that's, but that's it's, it's like above a, 2 million. Uh, I'd say millions is probably above 1 million. I don't know. I, I I'm not sure. I feel like you'd probably go to saying 1.1 is millions. I don't know. I think Maybe it not. is. It is definitely more than 1.1 million. Yeah. Like I'm so, saying. Shadowlands sold through 3.7 million copies, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. I I think so. Um. So if it sold through 3.7 million, I mean, we could be down like if we were down 40 percent from that, mm. I would not at all be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Like. It's the case where I think Shadowlands was sold on a very, 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 uh, f under a false pretense, largely. Not literally, they didn't want to go, they weren't telling lies about it. They just said it was, they just sold it, and people were like, this looks good, and then they played it and went, not as good as we thought it was, look, oh well. Ca caveat emptor, whatnot. And then, but. Yeah, know, I, I suppose at least, um, I don't know. There's definitely, and it's a little bit toxic, but it's like a, look what you fucking did. <laughs> we told you for, even through Legion, we were screaming from the rooftops about all of these systemic problems of the game, and you still managed to pig-headedly fuck it up for years after that. Look what you've done. Because, like, I, I think this is, this isn't self-inflicted by a publisher. That's the weird thing. This is a self-inflicted L from the development team. It's... Jeff probably, probably not the people, you know, doing most of the work in the game, because uh, at least at a point, the, the World of Warcraft team was extremely hierarchical and top down. Um, but like, I think this is clearly a, a case of like, yeah, sorry, your all your leads betrayed you, and signed on to a really shit plan that anyone with a brain would have said would have been shit. Yeah. Um, and now here we are. You know, f finally they've learned their lesson, but we've evidently realized that World of Warcraft being, at bare minimum, extremely dramatic uh, for four years does, in fact, have a massive cost in, sure in players. Does. I mean, even, you know, when, like, the launch happened, there was the Twitch drops and all of that, all these things that didn't exist for the launch of Shadowlands. Mm. WoW had, like, less viewers than Shadowlands and Twitch, and it had half of the channel streaming. Yeah. I think about channels yeah. streaming the launch night of a new MMO. Because the thing about Twitch is most Twitch channels are streaming to like five people or three people or two people. Mm -hmm. I guess they're just playing the game and that's the thing they do. Yeah, they play the game and have fun, which is and, and not, so, what, not what anyone assumes Twitch is about. Yeah. So if that number is half, if that number is half mm. for launch, like what does that tell you? There's also the fact that they split the category for launch. Yeah. So there was true. it was split, but together it wasn't it still wasn't the same. That's where a lot of like the Shadowlands was Shadowlands and the lingering traffic from Classic was like, mm, hang on a second now. Was that the was that why it would look so big? But even then it's definitely like interest 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 down, largely. Mm. Not from the people who like it. They like it a lot, it's good. But it's like I said last week, two weeks ago. About like the Dragonflight almost intentionally feeling like they're, uh, like, purging whatever they didn't want yeah. off them. But that also resulted in a lot of people going away as well. Where it's like, okay, we're going to start fresh, but, you know, whatever 
to keep to like the scaly analogy, whatever molting they did, that skin was valuable in the end. Uh, this is gone now. They have to. They have to. They have. They. They are. They are tender, skinless creatures. They need to. That's. Like, I really something, like something. that analogy. Yeah. Like, uh, It'd be better if I understood that process as opposed to what <laughs> happens. They lose skin. Ah. Uh, 